an urge to take a step towards retail and the love for the traditional nine-yard handloom is what prompted Jyotsna and Madhavi to start the house of Tamra a year ago. Owing to the limited supply of handloom saris in big stores, they created a space where everything is handcrafted. This was about a year and a half back and when we were talking about wanting to do something together. We've been actually wanting to do something together all these years, but she lives in Hyderabad, I live here, and I think we have four little kids between the four of uh, between the two of us. So we said, you know, when it's they're a little bit older, when the time is probably right, and it just so happened a year and a half ago when we were talking about it and when we said maybe this is the time, let's talk about House of Tamra and that's how it started. And uh, we did a lot of background research for six months, six to eight months and uh, we opened the store last June. The founders source and handpick every sari from the weavers directly. The emphasis is on bringing back the charm of handloom to urban homes. The store also houses beautiful traditional and antique silver jewellery, blouses and also kurtas to complete the look. We actually design and curate. We don't have any weavers who exclusively work only for us because I don't think we've reached that level yet. But we do have a few people that who we work, we work exclusively with. Every sari goes through Jyotsna and I. We have a small selection of silver jewellery that we hope everyone, whoever walks in, we try to help them with their entire wardrobe of the saris, blouses, a small selection of, so that we keep a small selection of silver, that just something that they can to sort of complete their wardrobe. A lot of it is we work with some designers and some we get them made for the store. Yeah, the temple, the, the silver antique jewelry look, that's a look that I totally love. I think it looks lovely on saris, so we sort of just get a few pieces done for the store. In its one year journey, the founders have curated saris from most parts of India, but feel there's still a long way to go. But don't be surprised if you want to pick 9 out of 10 saris that are on display. We have Kalamkaris and Ikkats which are from Andhra. We have Kanchi Cottons which are from Tamil Nadu. We have Kanjivarams again from Tamil Nadu. We have Tassars from Bagalpur. We have Bengal Cottons. We have a variety of saris from different regions. But then again, we are only a year old so we don't have all types of saris. It's we sort of stock saris that we've visited the region, we've experimented wearing the sari, we see how it looks, feels, and then when we are really happy with it, then we bring it to the store. The founders believe that stores like House of Tamara will help small weavers get a platform and also showcase their creativity. In Bangalore with Dola Samanta, Priyanjana Datta for your story. Every pair of shoes in Smitten is hand-picked and curated and it just opened its second store in Hyderabad and is now looking to expand to a couple of other cities in the south. Meet Archana Doshi, the person behind the famous cookery destination on YouTube, Archana's Kitchen. It was just a passion that has now become um, a professional um, business.